Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. We're here taking our first look of the HTC Evo 4G, probably the best Android phone out right now versus the brand new iPhone 4, which of course just came out. Now, when we first look at these, as far as the first thing you're going to notice is the screen. And that's the first thing we're going to cover. So the Evo definitely has a bigger screen, has a 4.3 inch screen. But the one thing about the iPhone is it does have a, a better screen with the retina display, even though it is smaller, but you can you see the really crispness of the resolution. Um, it, it's kind of, you know, me personally, I would probably take a smaller screen with a higher resolu resolution like this over a bigger screen. And again, that may be somebody's preference. But I do like the size of the Evo screen, especially with the home screen, since you have a lot of widgets you can add and customize to it. And you can put a lot more widgets, a lot more different application shortcuts on your desktop. Um, but the iPhone does have folders, which you can have multiple items in one photo, single folder, and it may help with the screen real estate issues as well. But just looking at the screens, I say that the iPhone screen really does, um, in this case, beat the Evo screen just because of the pure um, the way that it looks, the pure display power that it has. So it really looks very nice. And um, looking at the design of it, the iPhone 4 is really slim. Uh, it is very slim. It was kind of hard to really think they can get this slimmer than the 3G or the 3GS, but it is actually very slim. It still has a little weight to it, um, but it fits in your pocket very nicely. And the Evo, even though it does have a bigger screen as well, is still not that bad um, compared to the iPhone here. If you look at them like this, so it's not too big of a difference. And the Evo does have a little bit more ports, the HDMI out port on it. And it has a couple more things definitely on the inside than the iPhone 4 is lacking. But it's still not too much thicker than the uh, iPhone 4 here. But you look at it this way, you can definitely see even the iPhone 4 on top, you can still see a little bit of the Evo screen. This is really a massive screen. It's a very nice screen, very nice screen to have. Um, so next up, let's get into just basically the, the I think the main part um, that people are going to be comparing this phone is going to be the camera. Uh, how do these cameras actually match up to each other? Well, what I did here, I went ahead and shot a couple clips, both of these cameras at the same location. So go to check them out and we'll see for yourself which one that you actually think is better. Okay, so you can tell by the, those, those samples there from the video and the pictures, the Evo just gets really blown out of the water by the iPhone 4. Even though the Evo may have an 8 megapixel camera, uh, it, just, it just doesn't equate the same. The sensor in the iPhone is definitely a little bit more fine-tuned and executed definitely better than the Evos. Um, pictures, not too much. I mean, pictures are not too bad on the Evo at all, but the video is where you can see the, the definite difference and just the quality of the camera. So no, it's more about just the specs on paper. The quality of the camera is just really good on the iPhone. Okay, one of the other things that people debate about is multitasking on these two devices. Now, the Evo is quote unquote real full multitasking, meaning that all your applications continue to run in the background. So no matter what applications you open, they will continue to run in the background and um, full speed running full speed ahead. You know, there's not any tier, there's not only certain parts of it's running, everything is running full speed in the background. Uh, but with the iPhone, uh, Apple has done where it's basically just a different, I think about seven different APIs 
or things that applications can do for location based or you know music playing in the background is certainly limited to their multitasking capabilities but for the most part that's what all the applications want to do anyway and uh, so we're going to have to wait to see about the battery life um, now I, had, I do have the iOS 4 on my other iPhone 3GS you know a little while ago about a week and a half before this new iPhone came out and my battery life has remained consistent uh, I do find with the Evo though that the battery life does go down once you have about nine applications running. Anything below that, and the battery life is still the same. But once you get up to about nine applications, it, it it really starts to drain the battery. Um, and also just switching between applications without a multitasking on the Evo is not really a real simple way to do it. I mean, you can hit the home button to go to different home screens to get to another application, or you can actually hit the. Uh, uh, go to the application button here and, and, and scroll through the applications like that. But I do find the implementation of multitasking here on the iPhone. Basically hit that and swipe and you can get all your open applications that are running and running in the background in just a matter of a couple seconds. Now, but one thing that the Evo does do better than the iPhone, and I guess this falls in lines with, with multitasking a little bit, is the notification system. The iPhone has that little annoying pop-up that pops up and makes that sound, but the Evo just has this slide-out bar right here, and I don't have other, I don't have any other notifications here, but I've had new emails and new tweets or things like that. It will all be right here, swipe up, and it'll go away. And that is absolutely the best notification system that I've seen on the forum to date. And hopefully <laughs> Apple will adopt that, but definitely Evo has the multi the, the, the notification system down. But I think multitasking as a whole, I'll take the iPhone as far as just this pure execution of it and saving battery life. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here. It's going a little bit longer than I want to. This epic battle between these top two phones out there. It's gonna take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna make a part two video, but I need your help. So I'm gonna go over definitely the web browsers and the OS in general. And uh, but also what other things you want me to see compare between these two phones. So leave a comment below and I'll make sure to take a look at them and get the best suggestions and put those in my part two of this battle, which I'll have up here shortly. And again, like I said, at the, end of, at the end of every video here, I am having a giveaway between one of these two phones here. At the end of this video, I'll leave a little link there with the video. You click on that and find out how you can enter very easily just to have one thing to do. So anyways, Minnesota knows best here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace.